Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 14. Say so today is going to be a night routine, right? Yes. So it has been a chill day, guys. And I just decided let's do a night routine. It's going to be like a winter night routine because... It's a little different than what we do in the summertime, but it kind of consists of the same thing. Like, I did a night routine a couple of videos ago. I don't even know. I think it was like two months ago, actually, where I did a um, 1 a.m. night routine because this baby girl go to bed late. <laughs> and I was just doing, you know, some household stuff for her, bathing her, putting her in bed. So, this is kind of going to be like the same thing, but it's like updated, but winter style. So, it's pretty heated in the house right now. In the evenings, I like around 5 o'clock, I like to crank the heat up. So, see her with the tank top on because it's hot. Um, I like to crank the heat up so when I get ready. Hold on. You wanna, okay, say bye to them. Bye. Okay. She want to go play real quick because this is kind of like her play time. It is, um, what is it, around 8 o'clock? I think it's around 8 o'clock. I had just got back from the laundromat picking up the clothes from the dryer. I did laundry. <laughs> So that's, you know, always doing laundry. And I like to do laundry during the week and not the weekend because, like I said, I go to the laundry mat. I go to the laundry mat, you know, where I live at. And it be crowded in the weekends. And I don't got time to be waiting for machines and dryers. And nope. So I like to go during the week. <laughs> um, so it's going to just be a little bit. You're going to follow us around, see how this routine goes. So, yes, I do have laundry again to put away and fold up. It is baby girl clothes. And then I have sheets and towels and stuff like that. But I want you guys to see, because I, when I went, to, I did a Walmart trip um, with baby Dalia. And this is the comforter that I got. It's like a corduroy. It feels so good. And these are the sheets that I was telling you guys about. It's like the Jersey cotton type sheets. They really stretchy. It looks so nice on the bed. So beautiful. I love it. Like, try these sheets out. If you want something that's soft. And it's like stretchy and stuff like that because I do have, you know, Delia sleeps in the bed with me. So she's always moving and she doesn't even like covers on her. So she takes it off moving and because it like stretches, she don't pull it off for of me. So that's what I like about these sheets. So when she's moving and stretching and moving around, it just stretches right with us. So I'm going to show you guys that. It just looks so beautiful. So hold on. Let me just. <sighs> okay, hold on. So I want to give you guys a closer look at it. It just feels so good. And it's like so soft. I just love it so much. And then look. This is like the stretchiness of it. You see. I don't know if you can see it on camera. But it's so stretchy. But I'm going to get back with you guys. I don't know what just happened. But I'm going to get back with you guys. Um, Her area is not too too bad yet. Like This is her play time. Where I let her just play with any of her toys. And stuff like that. But I'm going to start working on folding up her clothes and the sheets and the towels. I don't know why she has her Lego table upside down. I think she was sitting on it. But, um, ooh. She need to be building some blocks and building me something with it. I don't know why it's not staying. Alright, I gotta fix it. Okay, I think it's... Is this supposed to be like that? I think it's locked. But yeah, so... What's wrong, baby girl? What's wrong? Down what happened? The okay, you keep taking the ornaments off the tree. They keep stopping her for taking the ornaments off the tree. So, they keep stopping her. She's been at these ornaments since he put the tree up yesterday. Like, y'all seen in yesterday's vlog. And she's been at these ornaments all day from the time she woke up this morning. All day been at the ornaments. I think I didn't put about 20 of the ornaments back on the tree because that's what she keeps doing. And um yes yeah, so i don't know but let me get let's get into this evening routine for you guys and yeah hope you enjoy it don't forget to subscribe to this channel when you guys are watching this video so yes let's get into the routine so guys everyone cleared out of the kitchen um my brother had cooked so let me see the kitchen is pretty much a mess so they're gonna have to come back and hand get it up but he made sloppy joe for the kids it's fries i believe left in here oh no he didn't okay oh there's more fries here left here where i want fries so he did like a sloppy joe i think somebody did like a chopped cheese so that's why the kitchen is looking a whole hot mess now me and baby delia don't eat meat so i don't mind the stove because of course it has to get cleaned up we're gonna do that but i'm thinking of going with some soup i know i know i know it's not all that good with the sodium but 
I really wanted the soup from Panera Bread. I love their broccoli cheddar soup. And Leah loves it too. But I don't feel like going out. So I got the pot for the soup. And then I was thinking about making me a grilled cheese. Because they bought like these buns. Like the hamburger buns. Like the brioche buns. I was going to make some grilled cheese on that. So that's what I'll probably get started in a few. But... Yeah, but first, I think I'm going to start with the laundry. Guys, I didn't even show you this laundry. Let me just show you this laundry right here. I threw a baby show up there because it was in a way. But look at the shopping cart. It is full. Like, look, that bag down, the green bag of Delia's. This is my blanket that I have folded up. And this is all sheets and towels. So I got to get that put away. What she's doing? Put some blocks on there, mama. Go get the blocks. Let's build a tower. You trying to put your sweater on? She found her little sweater in her bag. She been digging in her bag. I have brought her bag in from the car when I, because I washed up everything in her car, the car seat, the um shopping cart cover, her blankets that was in her car. She had a teddy bear in there, and I bought her a baby bag that I keep in the car. She was a sweater in there that I believe I don't even know if she could fit this still. Let me see what size this is. This is a cute sweater she barely wore. Like I have so much clothes that I'm going through that I give away um 18 months so i don't even know if she could still fit this sweater i'm gonna try it on her but it's so cute this was like her fullest type sweater summer into full sweater that i kept in the bag so i try to keep like one or two like sweaters like this in the bag with a change of clothes so that's what i'm about to do right now um no first i'm gonna start putting the clothes away so guys yeah i just came in the kitchen to start making our grilled cheese and soup that i showed you guys earlier because baby girl kept coming back and forth asking for cheese so i was like i'm gonna use some sharp cheddar i think i got some american in there and i'm using the brioche bread so i'm gonna make one grilled cheese off of there and see if she even eat it because she is so picky so i'm just making one just give her a peace of mind and then i got the soup on the side so as y'all can see right there the soup is in the pot cooking the pan is on back there where's my butter I gotta get my butter. Uh, where is the okay? Butter melted in the pan for the grilled cheese. And baby girl is over. What are you? Uh, what are you doing? You don't take that off of there, Delia. This girl over here making a mess. I left her to play with her little Montessori shape thing. You know that. Let me show you guys. Cause uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. She dropped it on the floor pick it up okay look let them see let them see so she's supposed to be matching the colors the shapes and she just took them all off and started playing with them that's why i don't like to really leave to un you know unaccompanied when it's stuff like this this girl is all delia look match the colors you put the colors on so she just start, you know, she's not that age, but she could sit down and actually do something for like 10 or 15 minutes, or even, you know, five minutes. Get off the table, please. Get off the table. So, yeah, I think I'm going to take this from her and give her something else to do. Or just tell her to go play with her toys in the room. Get off the table, please. This is the mom life. Were you trying to cook? I'm sitting here trying to cook, and she wanted to be in the kitchen with me. All right, so we're gonna put this away. We're not doing this right now. I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna, mess, I'm gonna fix this later. Cause she's not about to mess up all these shades. I like to do this with her. Maybe we'll do this later. All right, so this is gonna go bye bye for now. I know you're upset, but you are not doing it the proper way and you're just making a mess and I don't want you to lose all the pieces, okay? So let's go pick something else to do. Okay? Ooh. So I'm gonna put that over here. Oh, you yeah, see it's a heart here on the chair. Like I'm gonna have to just look around, so circle on the floor. So yeah, I'm gonna try to find something else to go, and then I'm gonna get back to you guys. Wait, wait. She's digging, and she knows she gotta say her grace. Say your grace. This is what Delia, baby Delia, has. She has this. Wait, the soup, and then she has the grilled cheese. Wait, you gotta say your grace. Let me get you a fork. Let me get you a fork, and then I have, you know, the grilled cheese, and then I have some soup in there. Let me get you a fork. Okay. I don't know if you want a fork or a spoon, but let's say um grace. You ready? Ready. Alright. Hold on, let's turn it. Ready? Ready. 
God is great. God is good. Thank you for my food. Amen. Amen. Okay, go ahead. Guys, I don't know why I got her here eating. I'm hope, hoping that she's going to be good here. I'm just drying her here for right now. Hold on, baby. Okay. So, guys, we're just going to eat. Let me see how she does it. Look, it's like right here. Right here. There you go. Try it. Try it. It's yummy. Soup is yummy, remember? Wanna take it off? You can take it off. So, we're just going to eat up real quick, guys. As you can see back here, I still got her clothes to fold. And I got to put this blanket away, but the other sheets and stuff are away. So, we're going to eat, and then we'll get back to you. So, guys, this is how it's looking. She pretty much ate, well, she had a little piece of little cheese here. Pretty much ate all her soup. I actually gave her more potatoes. She's good. I ate all my grilled cheese, and then I got a little bit of soup left, but that was good. So, now she's trying to drink my tea with nothing left, and she's just trying to drink it. But now she is all dirty. Let me see. So now it's time to get her all cleaned up and then it's back. Come on. Clean, clean, clean. Come on. Uh oh. Come on, let's clean up. Put the babies in the bed. We're gonna go take a bath. Put the babies in the bed. Go ahead, put all the babies in the bed. Baby. Put the baby, okay. Put the in the bed. Here, put all the blocks in here. We'll get the blocks. Look, look right here. Get all the blocks and put them in, please. Thank you. Come on, all the blocks. Good job. Good job. Yeah, hey, clap your hands. Okay, what pajamas you want? Which ones? What's pajamas? Which one? Go ahead, take it. Put it on the bed. So yes, as you guys saw, cleaning up her toys and being able to follow direction is something I added into my routines. I want her to be able to clean up her messes because that's a big thing with me. She does a lot of messes, especially with her toys. She'll have them all over the house. So I end up telling her to pick up her toys and go put it back where it's supposed to go. And as for her picking out her pajamas, that is something I've been doing since she was very young. And I continue to do it with her pajamas and her clothes that she wears. So now, I also added into our routine her taking off her clothes and putting it in her hamper. Hence, her hamper is empty because I just washed all her clothes. But I like her to at least be able to take off something. And I do still have to help her sometime because it is hard. And, you know, that is okay because she is still learning. So we both decided, well, I decided to take a shower with her to make it easier, to have more bonding time for the night, um, and just to teach her about washing up and following what I do in the shower. So I am just drying off her body a little more. It seemed like her neck was a little wet. And then we went on with the night. So, yes, I like to get her ready first to get her out the way. And then I work on myself, you know, greasing her down, giving her good massages, and then putting on pajamas and then going about my business. So, um, that's what I did. And then I also like her to help or try to help me put on her pajamas. Um, the shirts are a little hard, but um, she can do the pants a lot of times by herself. This particular pajama set was new and it was longer, so she had trouble with it. So, I did help her. Look right here. Right here, pull right here. 
Yep. So this next minute and a half to two minute clip is me getting ready on the other side of the room and you're gonna see how cute it is i just left it in there she just all over the place just talking and having fun and in her own little world so you guys enjoy pull up your pants in the butt pull up your pants in the butt pull up Let's go. Get down. Put the pillows back on the bed. Let's go. Ow. Let's go. Hey, uh, let's, go. Let's, go. let's go together. Pick it up. One, two, three, up. Teamwork. Good job. Get the other pillows. Here. Here. Put on the bed. Push it over there. Push it, push it. Push. Come here. Stand up. Pull your pants up in the back. Look, it's off. Pick up, pull up, pull up, up. Up like that. Good job. Good job. Good job. Snap. 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 So yes, when I am making her do certain things, especially when I know she shouldn't have done it, I am very stern and I'm going to make her clean it up or fix whatever she did. <laughs> so next, I've just greased my feet right up and put some socks on and she wanted socks as well. So I told her to go get some socks to put on her feet because um, we still had to go in the back in the bathroom to brush our teeth. And I wanted my feet to be nice and cozy. So that's why I love those little fuzzy cozy socks on after you get out the um, shower because it just feels so good on my feet good job put the other one on so now it's time for us to get our teeth all brushed up and floss and face washed so I'm going to start with baby girl. I start off with a non-fluoride toothpaste with her because I do two brushes and one sitting. Um, I let her go in with the toothbrush to get her into the mood of brushing her teeth. Um, and then I go in after her and I scrub, 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 scrub her teeth. And I'm telling her to open wide. And she actually did a pretty good job on... Um, open her mouth and let me brush her teeth a lot of times she fight me but it seems like this week has been pretty good for her so i am very proud i guess she's getting older and she's realizing i gotta brush my teeth two times a day so i just gotta get used to it <laughs> so uh you know that's what i do i just brush 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 I go on with that for about a minute, and then I go on right here. This is the fluoride-based toothpaste, which she doesn't really like. It tastes like bubble gum, I guess, but she don't really like this toothpaste. But she let me do it, and I just pay good attention to her um, top teeth with this one, and then her front teeth as well. Go in, and I'm a brush, brush, brush until <laughs> there's no more brushing. And oh yeah, and I also go in and get her tongue. We got to make sure we pay close attention to her tongue. And then after, I just let her hold her toothbrush. And then I'm going to go on with mine. 
Don't ask me why I have baby girl on my hip. <laughs> I guess I thought it would just be easier to hold her and not have to hear her whine and cry for me to pick her up. I usually just sit her right here on the sink when I brush her teeth, but I don't know. <laughs> so, um, I think her watching me brush my teeth has helped with her letting me brush her teeth. And she has become okay with it. So, I kind of just like, like doing this with her. So, we all know what teeth look like when it's being brushed. So, we're going to fast forward on to flossing. I always let her pick out her floss and then ask her what color it is. Just to make sure we're practicing her color. And, of course, she said purple. <laughs> then I went on and grabbed my floss. And then... I'm showing her, and I'm like, what color is this? This white. And this is mommy's, what I'm telling her. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to floss my teeth first this time, and let her watch me, and I'm going to let her try to imitate me and do what she do, and then I'm going to go, in and I'm going to floss her teeth. Oh, wait. We can't forget about the mouthwash, of course. Got to use that mouthwash just to catch anything. I like to do the mouthwash after I floss, just to catch any food that I have plucked out of my teeth. So I like to rinse it a couple of times and then hold it in my mouth for a little while. So that's what I'm doing now. I had poured too much in the cup. I wanted to put a little more in my mouth. And that was it. So let's move on to flossing baby girl's teeth. Yes, I am flossing her teeth while I'm holding the mouthwash in my mouth. I just like it to just feel clean and fresh. So I try to hold in for a long amount of time. And she actually is really good with me flossing her teeth. I think this was better than actually brushing her teeth. She's always been pretty good with me flossing her teeth. And I thank God I did floss her teeth that night. Because as I was flossing one of her teeth, some food popped out. And I'm like, yeah, see? <laughs> That's why we must floss the baby's teeth as well. Okay, let's spit that mouthwash out. <laughs> and let's move on to washing our mouth area again. So I will go in with a rag with her and wash her mouth area again just to make sure she hasn't got any dry toothpaste around her mouth. She likes to lick the rag. I don't know why, but she just always licks anything that I wipe her face with. So yes, I decided to go ahead with some of these acne treated wipes because I did wash my face in the shower but it just wasn't feeling as clean and I wanted to go in with these they're the grapefruit imitation um wipes that I got as a target brand and they work just fine they have I think um a two percent of acne fighter in it so I like to wipe my ears and everything else with it so yes that's what I'm doing Baby girl then took a wipe out of the pack, and I'm like, go ahead, wipe your face with it. And she's like, no. She started wiping my face with it, which was so cute. She probably was like, mommy, you need some help. And she started smelling it after. Um, they didn't really have a, much of a smell to it, so let's move on to the bedtime. So, yes, I move everything over. I try to, like, put the pillow on the side so she doesn't roll off the bed. Um, I make sure I put a bonnet on her head. It doesn't always stay on. She knows to move over to get in her spot so that we can lay down and get all comfortable. Then I start to nurse her because, of course, this is what baby girl needs to go to sleep. Well, especially when I'm putting her to bed. So, within 15 minutes, this is how baby girl looks. I still have her clothes to do. I'm going to try to get that done, but I'm not going to do it in the bed. So I might do it here at the kitchen table. So everything looks pretty okay in the kitchen. Let me see if the garbage is taken out. Uh, they started putting more garbage. So the garbage bag was full, so that's out. They came and they did the stove. There's no dishes in my sink. Um, and that's about it. I do have to get the floor done. So guys... Thank you for tuning in for this winter nighttime routine. My winter routines are pretty much different. Like I say, any routine is a little different. But since I'm in the house more often when it's the winter, especially in the evening time, I did a lot of learning earlier during the day. So I didn't add in any type of learning. She ran around pretty much the whole day in the house having fun. So she was really tired because while we were eating, she was yawning. So... Oh, like I'm about to be right now. So I do have her clothes to fold. I'm not sure. I might do it right here on the table. 
because I don't want to do it in there on the bed and put it away. So I'm going to see if I can go do it in there in the bed. But if not, I'll probably do the clothes fold on the table and just take it in there to get it done with. So I ain't got to worry about that tomorrow. Cause, But enough of that rambling. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you like it. Comment. Don't forget to com comment down below some other videos y'all would like to see from me as a mom. I'm going to let you guys go because I'm just talking too, too much. And I'm exhausted. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.